Hey guys, how's it going? So what am I working on now? Well, I got this Cadillac CT5. I don't know what year it is. It got towed into me. It is going off the road, and they said they hit something and it was leaking a fluid, so they had it towed in. Let me check to see what year this is. Uh, let's see. 10 of 18, making it a 19. All right, so the whole right side, the rims were packed with mud. The whole right side of this thing is filthy. Um, so apparently they went off into a ditch. The roads down here have ditches on either side. So they were going off the road and I guess they just caught the berm and they just packed the wheels with mud. So we cleaned that out and now I gotta put it up in the air. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set it up, lift it just a little bit. I'm gonna check all the fluids, see if anything is low. Then we're gonna put it up in the air and take a look. Oh, and real quick, in case I didn't mention it, it's got 26,000 miles. As you can see, there's some mud there, but like I said, these rims were absolutely packed with mud. Packed. We just dug it all out. So, I'm going to do this. Let me check the oil, check the coolant. It's out of coolant. Ain't no coolant in it. So, we may see something more than what we think. So, it's got some oil in it. Alright, let's put it up in here and let's see what we got. I see coolant leaking around the mounting point here. I bet you the radiator cracked because there's some damage here. Yeah, see they hit something right here. So, actually, let me let it down a little bit. But, I mean, the oil pan itself looks fine. Yeah, the radiator itself has got to be split up in there. Just can't really see it. You see the coolant all over. This is the... This is the um, radiator core itself and this is the tank over here so it's leaking somewhere in that area so hopefully just split the radiator let me see if I can get a better vantage point but let's look underneath I don't I mean it doesn't look like it damaged anything on the subframe control arm you can still see there's debris mud more mud some scrape marks more mud A bit of a tree. So, I mean, all in all, I don't think they did too much damage. I think they just might have ruined the radiator. Radiator, whatever you want to call it. Here's some more of that tree that they hit. Oh, it did break this mount. This mount is actually cracked. I'm going to, since this is plastic, I'm going to probably recommend replacing it. Because it, it could possibly fracture this ear. I wouldn't want that to happen. Now let me let it down a little bit, see if you can't see the front of this radiator. Alright, so as you can see, we have some damage here. If you look really close, you can see the condenser and the radiator is hit. So it's going to need a radiator and a condenser. I don't think anything with the mounts are broken. This thing doesn't appear to have an active grill shutter. So, but this nose is gonna have to come off. I'm gonna have to try to reattach this lower piece as best as possible. All right. Well, let's give an estimate on that. So, yeah. That's probably a one, two, three, four system. Let me check and see. Because if it's one, two, three, four, that's going to have to get shipped to have it recharged. So it's not something that we do. Yep, it's a one, two, three, four. Although I think they sell adapters so you can hook your R134 machine up to it so you can like suck it, basically suck down or put it into a vacuum, I should say. So you're not supposed to suck it down and put it into your one, two, your 134 machine gonna check to see if the system's empty it probably is but we're not gonna worry about that we're gonna let another uh, shop worry about that like the body shop up the road they'll do the recharges for us so that's gonna wind up ending this video because there's nothing I can do with it right now 
but if you're out there driving around just be careful because you know you, you it's amazing the kind of damage you could do relatively quickly and relatively easy to your car nowadays you know cars are not made of steel like they used to be but then again cars are a million times safer than they used to be cars are made to crumple and stuff like that to, to save you that's the reason behind it so anyway that's it so hopefully you got something out of that video if you did hit that like button all right guys have a great day keep wrenching all right, so just a quick update before I end the video. I already ended it, but now I'm coming back onto it. Um, we spoke to a customer. We suggested that they go through insurance because that's to do fix the nose, the bumper, and stuff like that. And in case there's any other damage, you're probably talking three grand. So you know, through an through an insurance estimate. So we told them you you're better off going through insurance, especially with a 2018 vehicle. So they're going to have it towed to a body shop and do it that way and go through insurance. All right, so hopefully you're getting something out of my videos. If you are, hit that like button. If you could, please subscribe. Uh, that's it. All right, guys, have a great day. Keep wrenching.